Hey everyone, Shane here from the Spirit of the Cosmos. Today is September 23rd, 2019. It is Equinox Day. So we have the Northern Hemisphere facing away from the Sun now, moving away from the Sun, and the Southern Hemisphere facing the Sun. So in the Northern Hemisphere, it is the Autumn Equinox, and in the Southern Hemisphere, it is the Spring Equinox. Today I'm gonna do a little card reading that is different though. I'm going to use the Angel Deck right here that I found by Chrissy Estelle. I found this deck in a metaphysical shop recently and I have spent some time studying it. But this is an Angel Message Deck. So I'm going to read from the cards themselves. It is more of a message delivery of reading from the cards and sharing with you instead of just using the powers of the oracle to relay messages through the random selection of cards random being divine randomness which i love so with any equinox you have a shift of energies the northern hemisphere moving away from the sun it will now see a more inward push towards the feminine energies and the southern hemisphere now angled closer to the sun as Earth shifts her axis and rotations to align with the seasons, you will now experience a more predominant masculine outward energy. So you have options, and that's the best part about an equinox. You have options. It's time to really roll your sleeves up and really go after your goals and dreams and manifestations. Or it's a time to just reflect and come back inwards to restore balance in your own energy fields. A time for you, basically. Not that reaching for your goals and dreams is not about you, it is. But you have a choice to really move out your energies and really get what you desire or push the energies in and regenerate and rebalance and refocus so that next time, the next round you go where you're actually pushing for what you desire and manifest, you'll have the relaxed energies and regeneration and the strength to move forward. Now I chose this deck, the Angel Deck, because it contains angelic messages. And I asked for four cards to really just stick out. That would really help us. What are some messages we can use for this Equinox? I love angelic messages and angelic assistance. I have called upon the angels for a long time in my life to help me with things on a personal level. It has worked tremendously. They are always, always very helpful. They're omnipresent. In fact, I theorize that in the angelic now moment, where they have one now moment, I believe they can split that now moment into billions of now moments and can be anywhere at any time assisting. All you have to do is ask. Free will is paramount in this universe. It is a sacred law. Each of us has free will, so all you have to do is ask and receive. They are always there, ready to assist you. You just have to ask. If you don't believe me, try it for a week. You'll be sending me an email going, wow, why didn't I try this earlier? Ask. It really cannot hurt to ask, and it really, really works. I picked four cards. We have Angel Reassurance, a message on that. Angelic Connections. Angels in Action. I love the old school art. And Angelic Guidance. The Angelic Guidance card, I'll start with that. We have a quote from Dion and Iasis. Dion Iasis. What a name. That is the Greek god of partying, basically. Fertility, wine, abundance, and harvest. Dion Iasis, I believe is how you say that. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I am from the South, and we don't say words right, and that's all right. His message is, the angel's intelligence is a light with the penetrating simplicity of divine concepts. I like that because everything's really, really simple if you cut out all the complexity that we bring upon ourselves. So how does this help for the equinox? Well, it's not surprising that our lives are full of confusion, as the card says. By piling on the pressure, we create turmoil and disharmony. 
Sit back for a moment and consider which of today's tasks are truly essential. If you do not complete them all, will the moon refuse to shine? No, it won't. It is the ego that insists on cramming all the non-essential clutter into our lives. The fear of failure, the fear of rejection. Give this day's task over in your mind to the angels and to source. Ask for the clarity of purpose of the divine plan for your life. That is a beautiful card. Keep it simple. Concentrate your divine light and watch your plan unfold. So this card is for those who choose for this equinox to sort of draw in your energies to regenerate and recuperate, which I plan on doing this fall and winter. We have the angels in action card. A quote from an anonymous source says, as you kindle the spark of angelic light within your heart, notice the glow in others. So this is for people who are you gonna use this equinox to really shine out their energies, to really go for what they want. Angels in action, this card's for you. This card says, once you light the spark of divinity in your own heart, you will feel a joy that you may not have experienced before. Your attitude to life may change, very true, and the world may seem a more beautiful place. I never appreciated how beautiful of a planet we live on until I became spiritually awakened. It really changed my perception on everything. I, I just can't express that, but this is so true. It says, as you act towards others with love and notice how they respond with warmth to you, you will attract more loving people around you. You send out high vibes, you receive high vibes. The law of attraction, baby, that really works. I can never, ever compliment that enough. It really, really works. This card says to close your eyes and visualize loving angelic sparks spreading the warmth and love through your chest. As you breathe deeply, imagine this warm glow filling your whole body legs, feet, arms, and hands, and through your neck and throat into your head. Imagine that this wonderful loving light spreads out, glowing all over you. And as you ignite the spark in others, simply with a loving smile, watch as this wonderful feeling spreads to others. Essentially, long story short, be a positive, awesome person, and you will attract positive, awesome people in your life. This does take practice. So for this equinox, if you choose to really shine out your energies, be ready to receive awesome energy back because you are awesome and you deserve everything awesome to come to you. Our next card is Angelic Connections. What does this say? It says, our deeds fashion our destiny. Heaven and hell are in our own hands. Very, very true. Heaven is the divine connection to unconditional love and hell is our fear of separation from it. I've always thought that hell was that, a total separation from source and the burning sensation of hell is actually the burning desire to return to source but you're stopping it and blocking it. That to me is what hell is. It says, when we think, act and live with love, all is harmonious. Very true, law of attraction. When we think, act, and live in fear, then everything is surrounded by disharmony and difficulty. Very true, my friends. If you are in your own way, you need to uppercut yourself, knock yourself out the way, and step forward. What you feel inside and think in your mind and act towards others will come back to you. You can have heaven on earth or hell on earth right now, it really depends on what energies you are sending out. This is something you hear all the time on spiritual channels, and there's a reason, because it's the truth. And we got another card. Angel Reassurance. Good timing. This quote is from Anthea Church. Nice lady. She says, an angel is like a mirror that reflects the truth kindly. For in its reflection, you can see who you truly are. So for the equinox, 
Who are you, really? What are you trying to accomplish? If you're not sure, you might want to do the inward energy exercise where you draw in your energies to regenerate and re-strengthen yourself for what you want to push forward later. This card says, have you noticed how many different masks that you wear and we all do throughout life, especially in this reality where there's so much manipulation and distraction around us, we do have to wear many masks. By developing a mask for every occasion, you are pretending to be someone else. One thing along your spiritual journey that you're really going to have to do is take the mask off, toss it to the side, and really radiate who you truly are. Don't be afraid. I did this by starting my YouTube channel, by coming out with all this knowledge I gained over many, many years of studying everything you can imagine. And I'm no longer afraid to be who I truly am. And with this equinox, this is powerful because I can choose to go inward and re-strengthen who I am or push out the energies of high vibe, positive frequencies of energy and receive back because I'm no longer afraid to do it. I'm no longer afraid to show the world who I am. And it's your turn also. It says, have you forgotten who you really are? You dilute your own energies your personal magnetism and diminish your potential for growth by ignoring your true self. Very true. If you are living in a rut, you might want to see, say to yourself, am I being who I truly am? And once you are, you just break out of the barriers and the boundaries and the overcrushing distractions and manipulation of this world by shining your true light. This card says to be courageous, acknowledge your true self every day that is an exercise you have to do every day be who you are affirm your ability to be true to yourself call on your guardian angel and ask to be given the courage and honesty to be who you truly are that is very true also guardian angels are great archangel michael is also fantastic for this if you're scared to really radiate who you are ask and pray Archangel Michael please cut through the negativity in front of me cut through the fear and allow me to shine my light out to the world I want to be my true self I realize that the only way to move forward along my spiritual golden path is to be my true self please help me and so it is asking is receiving something as simple as that can really change your entire day and give you the courage to move forward beautiful cards once again this is the angel deck by Chrissy Estelle I found this in a metaphysical shop slightly used it was half off I said why not I want some angel messages I'm gonna really study the deck and get to know it thank you for watching the spirit of the cosmos let me know if these angel messages helped you the equinox is here we have choices we can go inward we can go outward but be who you truly are. Don't be afraid. There is no need to be afraid of who you really are. Because once you really shine to the world your beautiful light within, it reflects right back to you. And your life will begin to change for the better. And you gain more courage. The more courage you muster and use and really reach out, the more courage you see coming right back to you. It's really a reflective state in life. What you put out, what you think, what you say, will come back to you. If you would like a free oracle card reading, send me an email down below. I don't mind. I've done over a hundred free oracle card readings. And I don't mind doing them for free. A lot of people have said, Shane, you should maybe ask for donations or compensation in some way. But I don't want to at this time because as I do the oracle card readings for people, it helps me grow in my skill set with the card readings. I have done so many card readings, but each one is such an amazing new lesson. I like, a, like I've never done it before, a whole new opening. And it just amazes me how the cards never lie and they give accurate, amazing messages. You rock, leave me a like, give me a like, leave me a comment. You know what I mean. I love each and every one of you. Leave me a comment down below. What are you doing for the Equinox? Are you gonna withdraw in? and build yourself or are you going to go outwards because you're ready 
you've built the energies up and it's time to shine. Let me know as this giant truck drives by. And thank you for watching the Spirit of the Cosmos. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.